they drew the park to coaster enthusiasts because of their three main attractions Manta, Mako, and Kraken. Mako, one of the three main attractions in SeaWorld Orlando. It is a BNM hyper coaster, which means it goes over 200 feet tall. The layout is a very simple L-shaped layout, which means that after the drop there's an overbank turn, followed by an airtime hill, and another overbank turn, followed by more airtime hills, two more to be exact, to be finished off with and yeah, make this break one before you do small bunny hills. So yeah, this ride seems to be pretty intense. BNM hypers are very well perceived by many coaster enthusiasts around the world because of their intensity, airtime, and speed. What is airtime you ask? It's when you're floating in your seat at the top of a hill because of the negative g-forces applied onto your body from the experience. Coaster enthusiasts really love airtime, and that's why they enjoy BNM hypers and gigas. And that's one of the many joys oh, wow. of SeaWorld Orlando. <laughs> now, let's move on to another of their famous models the flying coaster. This special ride, also in Seaworth Orlando, will make you feel as if you're swimming like a manta in the world's oceans. The name of this ride is Manta, and it'll help you experience swimming with and like a manta. Manta is a BNM flying coaster, which means the seats lay face down so you can enjoy the ride at a flying position. Manta has a very unique layout for its model of coaster. Its main unique element is the pretzel loop, which can be found on many women flowers around the country. Just like the Superman things and Tatsu at Six Flags Next Man. This makes you feel like you're flying through the air or swimming like an anti in that perspective in the park. Coaster enthusiasts really like the feeling you get on being in flyers because it gives you a sense of freedom when you are riding to the track and it has some really cool elements such as zero drills, press loop, and lower bank turns but most of all they like the experience and the smoothness of the ride so it's just another wonderful aspect of SeaWorld rides
The world's first BNM flying coaster was built in the UK. It used to be called Air and now it's called Galactica. But that was made to evolve into what is now Manta because many more were sold of that same model but different layouts. So now let's continue to the next model which is the infamous Flawless Coaster. It is technically like a bin and invert, but on top of the track. You get that same freedom, sensation, and everything, but just a different experience. Thank you. Guys, crack in front row. Beautiful day here at the Sea World. Here we go. Go guys, Kraken baby! Please remove your headset, unfasten your feet belt, and wait for instructions from the 